Welcome everybody, Michelle Newton, the Aussie Angel Lady here with your weekly Angel Feather Oracle reading for the week ahead today, Monday the 9th of April through to Sunday the 15th of April. So we'll call our beautiful angels in asking for a clear and accurate reading for the week going forward. And we will choose one card for the start of the week. All oh, the cards have clumped hard. One card for the start of the week, one card for the middle of the week, and one card for the weekend. And thank you for all the hearts. The start of the week, we have the brown angel feather, a practical approach. The angels advise you to focus on practicalities at this moment, one step at a time. So the middle of the week, the sunlight yellow feather, and we're having plenty of beautiful sunlight here in Australia. Um, Happiness awaits. The angels ask that you feel happy and optimistic. There are bright days ahead for you. So that's the middle of the week, sunny times. And the weekend, we have the light blue angel feather break the silence. The angels would like to assist you with sensitive communication that is required at this moment in time. So we'll have a look at these three cards sitting together. Now, it's a time this week not to rush at the start. Um, take your time getting up to speed this week, the angels tell me. Um, just go nice and steadily. Don't rush and push things and um, make sure you ground yourselves every day. Keep yourselves very, very well grounded this week. Use a brown crystal such as a tiger eye, some petrified wood, um, Oh gosh, any other brown stone, some gold stone even maybe would be great stones to work with at the start of this week. And with your oil, something earthy, you know, that would be really great to work with as well. Um, if you start off steadily at the start of this week, like today, tomorrow, not rushing things, taking your time, by the middle of the week, things are going to look a lot brighter. So you're going to be feeling more optimistic. So if you actually go like a bull at a gate at the start of the week, you know, you mightn't have the energy to sustain you right through the week really, really well to get the best outcomes for yourself. So starting off steady, slow and steady wins the race, going into the middle of the week, bright times, positive energy coming in, positive energy flow into your life is coming in and you'll be feeling a lot more optimistic, okay, if you follow this guidance. The weekend, the light blue angel feather is break the silence. So this is often about communication, sensitive communication. I'm really picking up an air quality, also water with this, so the blue sky, the blue the blue uh, water in the ocean or in the, the river, um, it would be really good to um, connect with the sky or the water on the weekend if you could. That would be great. So it may not be about communication for you, but you might actually receive sensitive guidance or sensitive information if you can get yourself out into nature on the weekend near the water or even if you can just go out into a park and just look up at the sky and appreciate the birds and the clouds and um, your angels so let's call in archangel michael and ask him for some clarity on this week's reading and we'll draw we'll draw three cards again sitting on top of these three cards like i always do the two oracles the angel feather oracle and the archangel michael sword and shield oracle work in beautiful harmony one being female energy and one being male so we're going to the male energy now we'll draw one for the start of the week one for the middle and one for the week oh that's very very interesting okay so the start of the week on top of the brown feather we actually got fresh eyes call in a third party this is an action card so here at the start of the week the angels are saying go steady take your time don't rush and then we have an action card which is interesting it's the red suit it's about action but the action that they want you to do is actually asking someone to come in and look at something okay so it's a third party it's fresh eyes a fresh perspective on something that's going on, an objective opinion. Sometimes we're very close to things in our lives 
close to projects we're working on and we can't really um, see things that could be changed for the better. So um, taking our time, especially with projects at the start of the week, very important and getting someone to have a look at the project or, or look at whatever you're working on. So it could be someone proofreading something or it could be someone looking at contracts or looking at a plan, someone different looking at what you're actually working on will bring you um, fresh information and will actually really assist you. Now, the middle of the week, we drew the happiness awaits the sunlight angel feather. And again, we've got a gold card sitting on top of that, which is the car protection and safe journey. So Archangel Michael and his band of angels stand in protection over your car or a loved one's car. So this happiness here in the middle of the week could be travel involved as well. And it's also safe travel because Archangel Michael is protecting you on your journey. So it could be that you do um, travel somewhere um, for work or for pleasure um, or on holiday or whatever, but it's safe travel and there will be happiness associated with your travel. Now, the weekend, remember we had the light blue angel feather, which is sensitive communication, break the silence, a time that you actually really do need to speak up or ask, talk to your angels. Here we have an action card, which is speak up, okay? Pearls of wisdom. Archangel Michael asks that you speak up at this time. Your viewpoint needs to be heard. So this two communication cards sitting on top of each other, we're definitely going to need to speak this weekend. It will be sensitive communication, but there will be a wisdom associated with your communication. So maybe you're called on to um, listen to a friend and give them advice or give advice to a child or, or you know, have a deep and meaningful with your partner that type of thing, or it could be a work colleague. So there's definitely you speaking um, in a sensitive way, but choosing your words and everything carefully, but you've got wisdom to share. So, you know, it could be about a sensitive topic. So you could be delivering your wisdom to a friend, colleague, partner, child um, on the weekend, but it will be about a sensitive topic. So, you know, Archangel Michael will help you choose the right words. So this is a beautiful week going forward. Lots of different energy, a slow start, then we much more bubbly in the middle and then the weekend where we're treading um, carefully but we're um, also um, are called upon to give over some really wise and uh, meaningful advice to someone. So thank you very much, everybody, for being here. If you would like me to take an in-depth personal look at some questions or issues you may have unfolding in your life, I love to do personal uh, readings. I do them in person at the AOK Healing Centre. You can phone us on 58231544 for a booking or you can book a reading with me online through my website, which is Michelle New 10. Dot com and Franz will put up the link for you there um, to book a reading with me after hours on Skype or on phone. Yes, Becky, they are very beautiful cards. So thank you, everybody. I love to connect with you. I also love to teach angel card reading and connecting with angels. If you'd like to work with me, you can. Um, my course is available to join anytime during the year on my online academy where I teach color therapy and angel therapy and angel card reading um, for all standards. It doesn't matter even if you just want to do it for some spiritual development of your own. You don't have to um, end up being a reader if, you do, if you're not called to that. Um, you just might really enjoy being able to read the cards really well for yourself or for your family so that's on the online academy i look forward to you joining me on uh, and uh, doing my course online which is fantastic at your own pace too when you get the content um, forever it doesn't expire and there's no pressure there either um, so thank you everybody uh, lovely to have you here um, now if you'd like to join us on our Messenger bot with our Messenger bot, um, Angel Gabby, um, you can write the word angel in the comments now, just A-N-G-E-L. Please don't put an emoticon with it because that won't fire the bot. We have worked out. So just write the word angel in the comments now for me. And then Gabby, that will... Um, Gabby will launch in your messenger and then you will have to write the word angel again in messenger and then Gabby will send you another card that will go with this reading tonight so that you can get some more clarity as well. So well done, Marie Claire. Um, now, Marie Claire, you won the prize last month and I haven't heard from you. Darling, are you here? Marie Claire Victoria D. Bitonto. 
you won the a, the Michelle Newton Page Prize, which was a book that I'm going to sign. So you need to contact me, darling, and tell me your full postal address so that I can sign that and post it out to you. So please, um, Franz, can you um, message Marie Claire there on the uh, comments so that she can get in touch with us? Now, don't forget to... Um, Join us for our monthly competition on the Michelle Newton page. While you're there, please like the page as well. It's for an Angel Staircase CD, Angel Staircase Meditations for Healing CD posted worldwide. So if you'd like to win that, please join us um, in the competition. And Franz will put a link to that um, under this um, post tonight. So thank you very much for being here. It's always a pleasure to do the weekly um, reading. Thank you, Franz, for your assistance. Give us some hearts before we go, everybody, and please um, write the word angel in the comments and then you'll be sent by our beautiful little bot angel, Gabby. Gabby Bot, she will send you another card message to go with our reading tonight. So thank you very much. We will see you, everybody, back here next Monday night for another weekly Angel Feather Oracle reading. Bye.